Hello dear viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Mahmoud Amanul Islam. In my previous video, I showed how to fit non-linear CD first order kinetic model using Origin Pro. This video has been one of the most viewed video in my channel. So in this video, I would like to show you how to fit non-linear CD first order kinetic model using Microsoft Excel solver. So in order to do that, I have taken my kinetic data for time and amount adsorbed at T and non-linear CD first order equation can be written as Q to equal to Q E star 1 Q to equal to Q star 1 minus exponential minus K1 T. So, in the beginning, you need to uh, click on data to see whether you have solver or not. See, our solver is here. If it is not here, you need to add it. Click here, then go to Excel option, then add scene, then uh, Solver at in will appear here, then go and then OK. So, this is how you can bring solver here. So, after that, you need to write this equation here q to equal to qv 1 minus exponential minus k1 t. And you also initially need to uh, set a fitting constant. Here, yeah, fitting constant is K1 and Qt. For example, in this case, K1 is 0 0.01 and Q is 10. Then, go here. So, equal to write this function B19. B19 QE add dollar because these values are constant so we must put dollar sign b dollar 19 star double bracket 1 minus exponential then minus a19 that is k1 value into t that is a2 so then click enter then scroll down this then you need to uh, select a residual values. So it is done by equal to B2 minus C2. Then residual square just equal to D2 square. So after this, then you need to find out sum of residuals, residual square. That is SSR which is just equal to sum, then select this, bracket close. So, our fitting is this. We can reduce, we can see whether fitting becomes good or not. For example, make it 9 and see, it is decreasing. So, make it 9.2, it is increasing. Make it 9.4, it is increasing. Then make it change it here. Three make it so it's nearer. Make it five. For example, make it four and make it five. So this is how you can make it two. So this is how you can make closer fit. So I think it is very closer. Then go to uh, solver. Click on solver. Our target cell is SSR. Then and fitting constant is K1 and K2. Select these two down, then minimum, then solve. So then keep solver solution, okay. So here is our 
non linear cd first order fitting and these are the values of k1 and q then <coughs> you need to calculate r square values so in order to uh, calculate r square values at first you need to uh, calculate average experimental that is i have done like the average bracket then select this and bracket close click enter and you also need to calculate average model just have equal to average bracket select this to bracket close then enter then you also need to sum square difference of average and model so b16 minus c16 square so then okay now r square equal to 1 minus assr divided by ssr so c1 minus ASSR divided by SR then enter. So this is how you can easily calculate R square value. So this is how we can easily fit non-linear CD first order kinetic model using Microsoft Excel solver. Thanks for watching and if you would like to get similar videos please do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.